The print head on your printer moves using a system of motors, pulleys, and belts. For optimal operation, it is important that the belt tension is maintained at the correct level. Excessive belt tension will contribute to premature bearing run. Insufficient belt tension can also lead to reduced printing accuracies and or dislocations. Since belts stretch over time, it is recommended that the user occasionally or every 500 print hours measures the belt tension and adjusts as necessary. This can be done with any device that allows you to measure audible frequency in hertz. One inexpensive option is to use a mobile device equipped with a free version of either Fine Tuner app for iOS or Pano Tuner app for Android. These applications are designed to tune musical instruments, but they can also be used to accurately measure frequencies. To ensure accurate measurements, always take frequency adjustments in quiet surroundings. First, we want to turn off our printer and manually place the print head into the back left corner. Next, we're going to place our phone's microphone close to, but not touching, the back belt. We will then pluck the front stretch of that back belt as if it was a guitar string. We will then use a 3mm hex key to adjust the rear belt tensioner until the app reads a frequency of 49Hz for the back belt. Next, we'll place our phone's microphone close to, but not touching, the front belt. We will pluck the back stretch of the front belt as if it was a guitar string. Again, we will use a 3mm hex key to adjust the front belt tensioner until the app reads a frequency of 62Hz for the front belt. Once both belts are at their target frequencies, we can reset the belt tension counter on your device. Updating this counter will allow your device to warn you proactively when the belt tension next needs to be adjusted. To reset this counter, simply navigate to the menu, Utilities, Maintenance, and then Maintenance Schedule. And here are some tips to obtain the best results. Number one, we want to make our measurements in quiet surroundings. If we can't secure a quiet environment, consider investing in a shotgun condenser microphone to plug into your mobile device. We will want to place our phone's microphone close to, but again, not touching the belt. We will want to remove any protective case on our phone if necessary to get the most accurate reading. We also do not want to overpluck the belt such that it vibrates against the gantry plate. And also, when we initially pluck the belt, we want to keep in mind that it will produce harmonics at multiples of the fundamental frequency. These will quickly die off and you will be left with only the fundamental frequency. For this reason, we tell you to ignore early readings that appear to have measured a multiple of your target frequency. With a little practice, you will obtain highly repeatable and accurate results in under 2 minutes.